Hey guys, welcome back to the Sense Pop channel. So the Banda has just released the uh, anniversary box and I know like there are many people like me out there who are so excited for this particular uh, release. The reason why it's because you know a lot of us are not just invested in a card game. This is a card game with really good mechanics but at the same time we are invested in the franchise, the characters and many of us would like to see our characters uh, be given power uh, some so, sort of a booster to, to boost up, right? So, you know, things like Pan. Pan has always been good, but, you know, things like Meta Kula, the old Frieza, especially Zamasu Goku Black. I know there are many people out there who really wants to play them again. And uh, Anniversary Box is a product that brings cards that are going to support the old archetype. And this is something that I really love about Bandai, uh, especially this particular card game, is that old uh, archetype are being supported here. So this is the ultimate box that, that is going to be uh, released. Not like the ultimate box as a product, but you know the box that is the ultimate support that's going to come, right? So we have cards that are reprint, like Sensu Beans and stuff like that. So this box is definitely going to sell. And uh, of course the different cards that are going to support for the older leaders and a new leader. So the cards has been released. We're going to take a look through it. This is going to be a first look because this has been just online a couple of minutes ago. And uh, I just took up my mic and then said, I just want to do this because I'm personally very excited about it. So let's take a look at the cards, right? All right. So let's take a look at the first one. Zero one. Expansion 0601. Trunks, a uh, search of energy. So for two energy, he is a 15k. So a red card once per turn when this card is increased, power is increased by a scale during your turn, you draw one card. So this is a good card for pun. 15k, you get to draw one card. He is also, oh yeah, so you can't really do it for uh, Champa because Champa does not increase. So when you play this for Pan, you draw one card and he's a 15k, he reaches 20k. And because of Pan's ability, you draw one card. So he swings for 20. Good card. Uh, I'm not sure if Pan needed some support. Uh, he is a Trunks GT. Great card because this guy, <laughs> you can chain attack trunks uh chain attack xeno on top of this guy good card uh it's up let's talk about the next one vegeto polymorphic portal all right so he is a four energy and he's a vegeto okay i'm pretty sure it's the support for vegeto activate main place this card in drop area from your hand okay so he is a one cost because it is from your hand so activate main pay one Put it into your hand. If your leader is a Vegito card, choose up to one Sun Goku and one Vegeta card in your deck or drop area. Two or less, negate their scale and play them as rest mode. Shuffle the deck. If you look through it, you can play a non Vegito battle card for the duration of the turn. At the end of the turn, place all battle card uh, played in the battle area with the skill in their owner's drop. Um, I'm trying to understand what does this do. Uh, because for one energy you bring out the two of them and uh, oh yeah there is the five cores that you can use it for three you know the the rare cards I think the the ones that swings at I think 20k and then uh, at the end of the turn you mule five and then you uh, evolve the other guy on top uh, the 25k um, endless power guy uh, on top of it good card uh, definitely gonna help Vegito. Vados! <laughs> I really like Vados. Um, because I remember one of my tourneys that I went, I actually, like, that was back in set 2. Yep, so guys, that was in set 2. And then I went with Vados and uh, I didn't win any game because I was really bad then. I, I, I kind of just started, like, in my first month. And, uh, but the shop was really nice and they gave me a, like, a appreciation prize for playing ba ba Vados <laughs> because nobody plays her. Okay, when you play this card, so two, two cards, five. When you play this card, you may choose one card in your hands and place it in your drop area. If you do so for the duration of turn, if your leader is a red champa or Vados, you can activate this awakened skill, even if you have five or more life. Ooh, <laughs> good card. Um, 
Because for the the thing about Vados and and Champa, they are all leaders, right? Um, all leaders. One of the thing that you want to do is you want to awaken quickly. So a lot of us, we actually play a lot of cards that take our lives uh, to to self awaken. If you remember, there was the meta from uh, set one to set two. Yep, set one to set two. It's about awaken quickly, awaken quickly until the untap two. That's when you want to space out and then you want to use the untap two at around three, turn three or four for this huge mega play turn, right? Um, the reason why you want to awaken quickly is because a lot of leaders does not have the ability to uh, awaken themselves. Uh, not awaken themselves, to draw. So a card like that, definitely good. Good card. Love it. Yeah, so turn two, slap her down, Vados, awaken. Swing with Vados, you get to draw the cards already. Draw two, swing with Vados, draw. So that turn is draw three. However, you get to choose one card and put it. So it's basically a plus two in your hands with a 15k leader. That is way more defensive because you are defending yourself at 15k. That's much easier. And at the same time, it is also kind of good because um, you, you're defending yourself at seven life or six life. Great card, love it, thank you. Hit, space time, uh, transcendent, transcendent. Okay, so he is a three cost, but for three, um, choose up to one red hit in your drop area or warp with an energy cost of six, evolve this card into it. Evolve this card into it, okay. You can play hit with an energy cost of 6 for the duration of the turn. Um, what is the hit, the SPR, uh, the SR hit for set 1? I think that's definitely 6. So this is the one that... But you kind of have to have him on the board and not die. Yep. So if you have him on the board and if you not die, uh, if your opponent cannot take him out, he's a 19k. Uh, if your opponent cannot take him out, um, it, they're dead. Because that hit, it's a minus two. Yep. Great uh, drop area of warp with an energy cost of six. So you need to have it either in one of this area. Great card. Um, definitely a good good card. Innocent Cannon, Margin Bull. Take a look. Two calls. Margin Bull. Woo. Counterattack if. Oh my god. If your leader, it's. Ah, oh, love it. <laughs> Sorry. So for two cards, if your leader is an evil wizard, yay! I, I, I love evil wizard. Who is it? It's Babadi. I love the Babadi archetype. Yep. I do have a deck um, in my deck list. You, you guys should check it out. It's the Halloween special. It is such a great deck because it can kill on turn four. And usually people go, go and look at Babadi and go like, ah, I'm not too sure about the leader. Trust me. Um, it's pretty good. Could be better though, but... Still pretty good. Okay, when you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle card. It gets minus 5k for the duration of the turn. Um, if you're wondering why people said, okay, why this card? The reason is, if you play this card at turn 2, slap it down, and your opponent has no answer to take him out, the next turn, you could evolve that 2, uh, the 5 drop, and then you get your uh, the grand absorption, you know, the Buhan out in turn 3. Great card, love it. Uh, so this is not as much as what it does. This is really good because you know he at turn two you bring him out, especially if you're in the first turn. Uh, if you're the one going first, your opponent is only at two energy. So usually they cannot handle something like 10k unless they are something like uh, baby, uh, baby. Yep. So he, he's at the two cost when you play him. When your opponent swings, you play him. Next turn, tap two. And then you evolve, uh, if you have the card, it's the uh, great, it's the grand evil as option, Margin Buu, out at turn 3. Buhan, great card. It's as much as having a Margin Buu, red Margin Buu on board, rather than uh, the abilities over here. Okay, I'm not too much of a Machine Mutant player, so forgive me if I don't see the point of the cards. Okay, so five cores. Okay, so boost. Choose one net. Bizu, Rebit, Rebet, Rebet, 
card from your hand or drop area and place them in the owner's drop area. Play this card from your hand. Okay. Ooh, ooh, wow. You could even do it from the hand. Okay. When you play this card, if your leader is a machine mutant card, choose up to one planet M2 from your deck, activate it and shuffle it for five codes. So I think this guy, you could evolve uh, the other guy on top, the, the SR General Grudo. I'm pretty, I'm not too sure what the General Grudo does, but you know, I think it's a sacrifice of a, like a planet M2 and then you minus some stuff, you know, the, the machine mutant baby type of uh, play. Mm. But if it's just one cause and then you get to play this card and you don't need to set up this guy, you can set it up from the battle area and for one cause you could play this card and then uh, I think the evolve guy on top of it does not require too much energy because I think it's an EX evolve. I think it's a good card. Mm. And then you can play it with, uh, with baby I think. Yeah. Alright, so wow, we got a extra card, Mutant Genesis. If your leader is a Dr. Mew, ooh, Dr. Mew is getting some love. <laughs> it gets plus 15k for the duration and then choose up to one from your hands with energy two or less and play. Okay, good. Good card. Great artwork. Let's go down to the blue. Blue it's one of those that I'm really excited for because I'm a big fan of Zamasu and a Goku Black, so we are coming to it. Sun Goku Path to Infinite. Uh, for 5 cores you get a 20k activate main. If your leader is blue, you also choose one of your blue battle card with 4 and return it to one of your blue latest card. Okay. Oh my god. You know, which is, what is this one for? So. It's a blue, it's a five course. It's Ultra Instinct. <laughs> Ultra Instinct is two energy. So for three energy, um, you get to bring out Ultra Instinct. Ultra Instinct is so difficult to deal with. It is extremely, extremely difficult to deal with. Yep. So what you can do here is uh, with an energy cost of four, what is a good energy cost four cards that you can play uh vegeta the at all cost vegeta because that is essentially a three cost right so if you play that card you get to tap um you get to untap one so it's safe and then you get to draw one card and uh, you could use vegeta's ability take two lives swing with at all cost for triple strike and uh whatever energy that you have then um, it's a plus two in your hands. You get to pop one of your opponent's battle card, which is not required because Ultra Instinct is coming. Tap one, play this guy. Uh, but this is all done in the next turn, right? Because Vegeta at, at all costs, his ability has to go off at five energy. But you can play it safely at four just to draw one. And your opponent would have his whole next turn trying to take out your at all costs. Yep, because it is a nasty thing to deal with in the next turn. Then after that, tap one, then bam, this guy is out. Uh, Ultra Instinct swing, two times triple striker. One of them is a 35k. If that guy doesn't have a negate, it's a GG. Good card. Clapping. Because uh, as much as I don't really play Goku, I love the Ultra Instinct uh, engine. Because um, I think it was Pat O'Neill who came up with the Ultra Instinct Zamasu. That was a really, really good. <laughs> that was that was aggressive and defensive at the same time. It was great. So Vegeta Energy Absorber. So once per turn, he's a two cost. Once per turn, when your energy is switched from rest mode to active mode by a skill, if it's your opponent's turn, draw a card. Oh, great. So it, it can combine with uh, Sensor Bean. Sensor Bean or Dimension Magic. It's a must have for blue. Yep, right there. Good one. Uh, Trunks, Hope Renewed. So two costs. You can combo with him. Place this card at the bottom of your opponent. Uh, activate battle. Place this card at the bottom of its owner's deck. If your leader is blue, if it's your opponent's turn, choose up to one blue energy. So you play with them together. Um, if you know the Future Trunks deck, yep, 
The future tr trunks archetype, you know, the one with this huge sword that can, if Vegeta, I think it's in your battle, it's in your drop area or something, he, he gains like triple strike. He, a very, very aggressive card. Together with the celebration events card, I think this is the stuff that you play with them because, uh, yep, yeah, it's because you need also Vegeta um, in, in, in the archetype, all right? So nothing much to say about them because I, I have not played them before. I don't know much about them, but maybe I can talk more about the rest. So with Destructions Aid. Okay, so for one cause, when you play this card, you get to draw one card. Good. If your leader is a blue bearers, place this card in your energy in rest mode. So it's very important uh, to, to have it over here. I'm not too sure about this card though, but for one to draw one, I think that's good enough. Um, I'm not too sure about the, this ability. Um, let's see how it works. Bearers need 16. However, once you reach 12, you're kind of like a, in the ending zone already because that's when your big whisk comes out with skills that cannot be negated and stuff like that. Yep. So, um, not too sure about this, but uh, if it's a one cost draw one, but he doesn't have barrier though. So with like Crisis Crusher and it's a 4K, so it's pretty easy to get pop. Uh, but let's see. Yep. Now we're talking. Goku Black, Countdown to Destruction. 3 energy, 10k. If you have 5 or more energy, you can play, play this card from your hands without. So it's a free. Yep. Okay, good. When you play this card, if your leader is a Goku Black or Zamasu, ooh, draw one card. You can't play a Goku Black Countdown to Destruction for the duration of the turn. Let me explain. Yeah. So when it comes to Goku Black and Zamasu Archetype, it's about energy ramp. Goku Black has the ability to ramp energy himself, but you know, at the cost of himself. But uh, when it comes to Zamasu, he, Zamasu has not the ability to ramp, but uh, he could use cards like the Always and Objection to ramp his energy up. One of the things that is uh, very troubling uh, most of the time is the ability to draw cards so this guy helps to draw cards he can be popped easily because he has no barrier and he's only 10k um, however good thing about him is he helps you to draw cards and he can be played for free so you know you could just slap him down just to draw a card and if your opponent doesn't deal with it you have an evolved target right there on the board. However, the evolved target for Zamasu and Goku Black, I think, is still at 7 energy. That is a lot. Uh, so I'm not too sure about this particular card. Let's see. Um, uh, let's let's see. Rather disappointing, um, but it's an evolved target. It draws one. So that's that's what it does. Yeah. Fused Zamasu uh, fusion Ref refined. Yes, you need to refine his fusion method. Seven energy, it's way too much. Yeah. All right. So at four energy, he is a 15k. He is indestructible. Yeah. Banda really needs to change the ruling when it comes to the indestructible, though. Because when it comes to indestructible, if your opponent minus like a 15k from this particular card, which right now a lot of cards can do that, like uh, what's that? Uh, and not. Uh, is that all you got? That card could minus 15k. This card is dead. Yep. He is indestructible Bandai. Don't <laughs> just leave him on the board. Four cores for indestructible card is not that big. Okay. Blue. Uh, your blue da -da -da, can activate its awakened skill even if you have three or more lives. Great. Good. Um, but you have to go to four energy, which is not that difficult because if you have uh, objection, turn to objection to turn to three energy. By the time you come, you are ready for energy. Slap him down, awaken, draw two cards, swing with your Zamasu leader, draw two cards. You may ask yourself and said, okay, why? So one of the things we really have to uh, take note when it comes to this is um, Zamasu itself. Once you awaken, the, when you are playing Zamasu, people used to awaken at one life. The reason is, don't waste the amount of cards in, in your deck, right? Because once he awakens, 
uh, you get you mute your deck instead of damage instead of big damage right so but the thing is if you have three or more lives there in your life once you awaken those are dead cards they are dead cards until dimension magic came comes in so right now i would awaken at two and just to surprise my opponent when my opponent swings a dimensional magic and they said mule five no actually is take one card from your life so that is what uh what it, dimensional magic does not do a damage to you dimensional magic takes a card from your life into your hand so i take one untap two and if i have three now i could use dimension magic twice I'm not too sure about that, whether would I awaken at more than three. However, this is still a good card for its second ability. So activate main place for two energy. So the next turn, right? This is for it is indestructible. Uh, unfortunately, not barrier. So let's see if this guy is still on the board. Place this card in its owner's drop area. If your leader is Zamasu and you have 15 or less cards in your deck, choose up to one infinite force fused Zamasu in your hand and play it. It is very, very good. Uh, if this guy doesn't die. If 15 or less cards in your deck, that is easy. That is so easy with Zamasu. We have, when it comes to Zamasu, there are two cards that kind of do damage to yourself. Uh, the, the ultimate box Zamasu that uh, deals two damage to you and the Goku Black, the Joyful Strike uh, Goku Black that deals damage to you. So if you have six energy, slap that six energy down. Yep, slap that, uh, slap that six energy down, play um, Goku Black, deal, deal 10 cards from your, uh, from your life then now you I'm pretty sure you have less than 15 cards then use a few Zamasu and if you have more still more than 15 cards then play the few Zamasu so if you have four energy you could play play that fused uh, that the other Zamasu the ultimate box Zamasu to mu 10 and if you have uh, around six energy joyful strike mu 10 so then after that tap two energy this guy if this guy survive tap two energy then uh, bring out swing with him swing with your goku uh joyful strike tap two energy bring out an infinite force samasu why not great card love it um definitely good Ooh, i didn't see this plan for destruction okay so when, when i said that i don't see this i actually did see most of the cards because i'm really excited for zamasu and goku black that's why i only went to take a look at that and i kind of stopped at this one because it was it was good enough for me yeah and uh okay let's see extra cards uh plan for destruction take a look at the artwork if your leader it's a goku black oh it's an expansion rare Okay, everything is expansion rare. <laughs> if your leader is a Goku Black or Zamasu, yes, it gets 10k for the duration of 10. And if there are seven more energy between you and your opponent, place this card in your drop area in your energy. Oh my god. This is so good. I'm so happy. Okay. Um, good card. Uh, it helps you with the ramping. Um, yeah, just boom, boom. Just, just put it. Just for one energy, you get a plus one. Why not? Yeah. So tap one, and if there's seven or more energy between you and your opponent, that means this is a turn like a turn four play because your opponent would have three energy, you would have four energy. Then if you swing, tap one, put this down. Yep. Yeah. Turn four for Zamasu player doesn't have too much uh, things to do because use the rest of your energy to 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 go defensive yep uh, zamasu plays goes up on turn five not turn five with five energy because that's when you can play your ultimate box zamasu and vegeto with one energy untap and then awaken then you really gain a huge chance but good card i love it let's see okay so now we go to green um maybe let's give Let's give a grade when it comes to uh, so the red cards. They're definitely good. Yep. 
blue cards when it comes to Zamasu and Goku Black and Ultra Instinct. It's so good. I love Ultra Instinct package. I love uh, the, the, the Zamasu package. And there's so much support for them. And they even try to support Future Trunks. Good, good call. Uh, really good. Yep. And Majin Buu, Grand Wizard Babadi. Oh my god, those are so good. Love it. All right. They didn't do enough of Grand Wizard Babadi, though, because um, Grand Wizard Babadi is just so difficult to play. The reason is he's 10k on the other side. Uh, but I think it's good enough. I think it's good enough. Let's go to the green package. You know who's green? Broly. Let's see. Okay, Sun Goku in close quarters. When you play a combo with this card, a 2k, okay, uh, zero or oh, two costs for comboing. So there's no cheating this guy out. Yep. So two costs for comboing or or you play. So when you play a combo with this card, either way, two costs. If there's a multicolor card in your energy, choose up to one of your opponent's battle card with barrier. And an energy costs three or less, ignoring barrier and KO it. Um Okay. Okay, um, well, that's the problem here. You um, choose up to one of your opponent's battle card, but for two costs, it it KOs something with barrier with an energy cost three or less, ignoring barrier and uh, KO it. I would imagine this might be used by uh, a lot of, because green has the mechanics to uh, destroy hands, right? So maybe this is there for Tao? Why not just not? But you need a multicolor card in your energy. I'm not too sure though. Let's see. Yep. Um, and you guys, if you guys are listening to this, and if you know what is this card specifically for, um, just maybe comment down in the comment section. I'm not too sure though. This. <laughs> Sounds very specific. It looks like Bandai is trying to deal with something that they created in the first place. Uh, but it, it sounds very specific, but I can't put my finger where, right? Okay, Sun Gohan display of strength. When you play this card, you get to draw two cards. Okay, pretty good. So four cores, 19k, okay. Activate main if your leader is green. Choose one piercing from your hands and play on top of this card. Oh, okay. So this is pretty good. I'm not too sure what this this particular one card does. Um, but I'm pretty sure that it might be good. For four cores, you get to draw two cards and then you get to evolve something like that. Most probably it's definitely way bigger and uh, from your hands and play it on top. So maybe this is the one that, you know, the SR from set two, that if your opponent has two or more combo or three or more cards in their combo area, you take all their cards and throw it through <laughs> and put it into the drop area. So your opponent has a limit to where they can combo. So I guess this might be it. And that I think was a triple striker that goes for 20 or 25k. And your opponent cannot uh, use too much combo cards to combo uh, out of it. So it's either negate or you use something very effective like a 10k uh, combo. Krillin, everybody's seen this card before, all right? So Krillin calling for help. If your leader is a green Sun Goku and it's flipped to its back. Take note, not awaken, flip to its back. Increase the energy cost by three in all areas and this card gains blocker. Uh, when you play this card, draw one card. For one course, he does not have barrier, so your opponent needs to take him out, but 4k, it's rather easy to take out. Um, and, you're, and, you, and you have to flip to the back itself. Um, I would say this is a 50-50 card. Uh, if you're wondering which one it, it is, it is uh, to support any Sun Goku. However, it's not more than Sun Goku. It is just for the, um, it's just for to make the Clash of Fate SR Sun Goku uh, play more because the Sun Goku needs a Krillin with four or more energy to be KO'd. Then he comes in and he pops any of your opponent's battle card. So he comes in, he pops it, and then you evolve the set two, uh, sun, six drop Sun Goku on top of it for one energy, and then you get to swing and use your uh, three super combo. If you are thinking about, okay, what is this, what is Sensu Pop babbling about? And what is Melvin babbling about? Uh, this is how you do this particular thing is 
there is a deck profile that I have. It's pretty, pretty popular. And uh, it's the Cell Krillin Must Die uh, deck profile. There's an updated version. Check it out. I explained the combos right there. And uh, that's that. Yep. Mm, now we come to Broly. <laughs> okay, so for two energy, 10k. Paragus, Quilling the Beast. Cards in your battle area can't be placed in it. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this is this is this is for the uh, Khalifa Khal uh, Kappa Khalifa play because it's just we're really too much cards that you want to play. You know Kappa Khalifa, and uh, you can't really play too much around it because unless because Khalifa protects your 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 board. This guy protects your board. However, there is a incentive to play, play Khalifla because Khalifla helps to awaken Broly, right? So that is a good card, unless they give us a way to awaken Broly that is more than a four. You know, like the rest of the cards are. I'm not too sure about this one, but if you play a card, draw a card, and then it has the ability to protect your board, and if you use it in combination with Khalifla. Maybe it's like double, right? Your opponent has to take out. If your opponent can only take out one, in the past they just take out a Khalifla, and you go like, okay, that's very difficult. But maybe with this and Khalifla, then if you're playing Kale, it might be good. Let's see. Android 13. I love Android 13. Okay, so Union Zop. So for three energy, 15. Choose one 14 and 15 in your drop area and place them under this card. If if your leader is an Android card, okay, choose up to one Android 13 from your hand with energy cost of seven, the big one, yep, and play it on top of this card. You can't play this card from any area if there's an Android 13 card in play in you. Okay, um, don't care about this. Uh, the reason is unless you already have the uh, ultimate of destruction card played or the seven drop play, you almost never play the four drop because the four drop doesn't have barrier and then he needs one more energy so you need to get to turn five to bring out something that is 25k double strike honestly that's not very good in this particular meta right now um, but uh, for three cores you get to put 14 15 safely and then you get to bring out a seven this is good uh, have to be careful about this but this is good so i'm pr I'm, I'm i'm glad that trucker had got uh got some love over here uh i like it all right so wow this is a what 14 and 15 uh together for two cores place this card in the drop area if your leader is an android 13 card draw a card oh good so 14 and 15 the reason is this because i think your leader can only awaken if there is a 14 and 15 card in your drop area right so you have 14 and 15 here and the reason is uh it was really difficult at the start because you want to awaken as soon as possible however there was the leader the burst wasn't uh right there wasn't implemented in set two or set three in set three right burst wasn't implemented so it was difficult to get a 14 and 15 and awaken quickly. So this is a 14 and 15, and then you can just uh, put it into a, a drop area. You get to draw a card. So you get to draw a card, you get to put one, you untap your leader, and then you get to draw two. But take note, you need six life, yeah? Oh, blazing technique. So if I take a look at this, this is the green Vegito, okay? If a leader is a green Vegito card, this is an extra card it gets 15k and if your turn also choose one also choose one it's a question so you can maybe don't choose one <laughs> choose up to one okay so what are the two options here okay choose up to one of your opponent's battle card with an energy cost of four or less and kill it oh, pretty good choose up to one of your opponent's battle card with two or less ignoring barrier energy. okay good uh just for one energy with these two options. I like it. It's good. Yep. Let's talk about yellow. Okay. Let's talk about green. Um, Broly did not get too much of a love. Android 13 got it. So I love it. And um, 
those people who love to play Sun Gohan, uh, you guys get a card that could bring out the big one, the, the big uh, SR Sun Gohan from set 2 out. That's pretty good. However, when it comes to the Broly card itself, I'm not too sure about Paragus. Maybe Paragus can substitute uh, Khalifla. So you have this two plays that you can do. However, Khalifla also makes it easy for us to awaken, uh, to awaken. So I'm not too sure if anybody wants to release uh, Khalifla. Maybe the whole idea about playing Paragus is so that you have Khalifla and Paragus on board. So it's very difficult to uh, take them out. So you protect your board. But as a Broly leader, if someone takes out my Khalifla, I I just continue playing it because uh, if I'm awakened. Just I, I do play quite a bit of small cards. So for example, bring out to play a Broly, then draw a card, and then uh, swing with a leader, pop that Broly, why not? That one drop Broly, why not, right? So I'm not too sure about this. So let's see. Um, so the overall grade would be, um, it's a pretty good. I would say it's pretty good because uh, of Android 13, yeah? I love, I love that. I love that archetype. It's just, it is so impossible to play because, uh, because, you know, even with the Asian of destruction, it was still difficult to play that that deck. Because, but they dealt with the problem. The problem was the Android th 13 needs uh, four energy. He does not have barrier, and then he needs to survive for one turn, and then uh, you need to, t then you need to tap one. So that's turn five to bring out 25k double strike. That's not exactly good at this point of time, but uh, now he comes out at three energy. Your leader can awaken easily or much easier at six six lives. Um, I like it. All right, let's talk about yellow. Okay, um, if you know me, yellow and green are my favorite color. Green is my favorite color. I kind of don't really like red. Um, Blue, it's I'm blank blue for Zamasu, but I don't have an inkling when it comes to like blue. But green, I really love green because it's like a Broly. Broly, I, I don't know, I just love the, the green archetype and uh, yellow. All right, so let's take a look at yellow Bardo the Enlightened. So when your opponent card is switched from active mode to rest mode by one of your skill, okay, draw one card, okay, for two energy, okay. I'm sorry, but there's, there's nothing much to say here. Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, feel free to correct me in the comment section, right? You guys know I always reply. Unless you're putting a comment that I can't reply, right? Like, uh, like, uh, yeah, yesterday you eat a burrito. Like, okay, so, sorry, I can't comment. If it's a question, if it's something that I felt that I could contribute, definitely I would reply. So, Sun Goku Unbreakable. So, Sun Goku Childhood for 2 energy. Maybe this is good for the Sun Goku deck, eh? Yeah? You know the, the, the Sun Goku that turns into an ape? Because it doesn't... Yeah, it switches one to rest mode. So, um, if you have this, if you switch, if they don't take up this guy, because it's a 15k, you get to draw a card, okay? So, Sun Goku Unbreakable Whale, a blocker. When this card is KO, choose up to one opponent's battle card and switch it to rest mode. Then choose up to one from your hands with energy cost. <laughs> okay, this is strong. Okay, this is strong. Um, what, is, what is this about? So, when you play a two cost, yep. You play a two cost when this card is KO, so he is a blocker. He is a Sun Goku childhood. That means you could use the Amwo um, martial art, so you get to draw two. And then when this card is KO, choose up to one opponent's card and switch it to rest mode. Then you get to choose one yellow Sun Goku childhood. If you've been in the game for quite some time, you know which card are we talking about, right? It's the three cost SR from set three. That comes out, he is a 10k blocker, at the end of the turn, switch it to active mode, and then you get to choose one of your opponent, when you play the card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle card, and KO it, and ke in rest mode, and KO it. Of course, it does not uh, deal with barrier, but it's good enough, because when this card is KO'd, you get to switch, you get to choose up to one, so you cannot, you can choose not to switch it, right? But, you... You know, what is also in rest mode? The attacking card. So this card is basically kind of like a Sugash. 
that you cannot Konoha it. Okay, good card. I love it. And if they try to KO this card with skill, so they did not swing with their leader. They swing with their leader, you tap this, KO it. If they have something big, big on the board, choose one of their opponents, choose up to one of your opponent's battle card, choose their card, switch it to rest mode, KO this, the three cards, uh, Sango, Sangoku Chao comes up from your hands and KO that card. Good. Good one. Freezer support. Freezer, malicious uh, streak. So for two cores, he is a 5k. So what does he do? Please, a friend, uh, clan, free, freezer clan, freezer friend, freezer clan, freezer army. Okay, so when this card is placed in the drop area from the battle area, you know which leader are we talking about? Yeah, so you can either you can either combo with that because it goes from the drop area from the battle. Maybe not. Maybe not. Because when you combo, you move it. You move it from the battle area to the drop area. So most probably golden freezer. It's most probably golden freezer. You may choose one card in your life and add it to your hands. If you do so, choose up to one freezer with energy cost two or less, other than freezer malicious streak, and play it. What is a good freezer card? If you are thinking that okay, there is a good freezer card, right? That is two costs that you can play that that, that comes from um, the War Martial Arts tournament, you know, uh, tournament of power. The problem with that card it's it's a good card that takes a freezer card from you because you can take this card back into your hands, right? Aha! Uh -huh, if you're thinking of that, definitely you can do that because it's a freezer card. However, let me remind you, that card is not freezer army. That means if it's on the board, you can't really use the Golden Freezer, which I'm pretty, I'm sure that this is uh, what it is kind of designed for. Um, however, I did not say that it has to be a yellow leader, but you know, it's two cost yellow, so it's it's pretty heavy on the yellow side. So drop him, you get to uh, take one life, so it's a plus one. From Freezer's ability, you get a plus one because it's draw one and then you get to uh untap one energy and then you get to choose up to one freezer card uh the two or less i did not finish my train of thought there that card even though you can take the freezer back into your hands uh it's not a freezer army card so you he's freezer clan not freezer army so you cannot pop him to get the effect so i'm not too sure if you really want to play it in this deck in my deck itself um Avenging Freezer and Freezer Biding His Time. These two are the Freezer Army deck, uh, Freezer Army card, but they're just at one cost. But maybe it's that. Um, guys, oh, I know what are they? What are they pointing to? So most probably they want us to play more of the set five. Uh, you know that the 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 blocker, the blocker that brings out any three costs. Maybe this is a good card to do that. The blocker that brings out any three costs. Yep, the two cost blocker that when he's KO'd, you get to play one card like a deadly defender or the three cost um, SR from set five uh, from it. So most probably this is the combo right there. I like it. Uh, just for this card alone, I like it. Just for just for this part alone. Maybe I maybe I will just keep the two costs, but I think it's good enough. And look at the artwork; it's great. Okay, Ginyu, we know this, right? So uh, there's mixed feelings about that, but I think for what it is supposed to do, don't expect everything to be like a meta, right? But for what it is supposed to do, it helps out a lot. So double strike, activate main, he's a four course. You will never play a four course. Place this card in your drop area. So from your hands into your drop area from your hands. Your leader card is a Ginyu card. Look up to three cards from the top of the deck. Choose up to one Ginyu force among them. Add it to your hand. Then place the remaining. So, for one cost, um, you get to look at top three. Pick one Ginyu force on it. So, Captain Ginyu included. And add it to your hand. Then place the remaining cards at the bottom of the deck. Good. Then add a card from your hand. If you add a card to your hand, choose up to one Ginyu Force from your hands with energy two or less and play it. So you could play it as if Captain Ginyu and uh, Jace, yep, the Space Australia guy. As if for, for him himself, you cannot play them. However, you could even play the red one. 
I've never really played the blue one and the red package together because uh, the red package seems to indicate that you cannot have anything that is yellow on the board. Uh, that sounds a little bit racist if I put it this way. <laughs> But uh, but if people want to do that, do that. I'm not good when it comes to Ginyu Force. I played the full uh, yellow Ginyu Force back in those days. But uh, maybe if someone could come up with some spices, you know, some really like a Toku Sentai <laughs> lover, then uh, maybe uh, they could come up with some spice. <gasps> Meta Cooler. Oh, Meta Cooler. I, I love Meta Cooler. Um, I, I, Metacooler, my uncle brought me to the cinema together with my brother to watch the watch it in the cinema for it. That that was such a great experience. Yep, especially when Goku and uh, Vegeta destroyed the first Metacooler. Uh, spoiler alert! If you have not watched it, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, there are really way more. I was like, I felt despair. I was like, oh my god, how they're gonna do do that? Okay, let's see. One cost, one cost. When you play this card, draw one card, then choose up to one big Getty star in your drop area and activate it. Okay, okay, okay. Activate main. The big Getty star. So you're not gonna, you're not gonna, you're not gonna play at turn one. The thing about Meta Cooler is, you put a met, at the start, you already have a big uh, Getty star on, on your board. Yep, so you have to get this down the board. And then when your big meta cooler comes in, I don't know what is the interaction, I forgot. Then the big get this out goes. Drop area, I don't know. Okay, activate main for two. Yep. Choose up to one. Maybe you don't have to do it. Yeah, you don't have to do it. If your big getty star is being removed, this guy maybe could help you to bring it back. So you get to draw a card. Place this card in your owner's drop area. Choose one. Choose one. <laughs> hey, what the heck? Why? Choose one. Choose one. Yeah, choose one. No question mark over that. Yeah. For the duration of the turn, if your yellow can act, your yellow even if you have five or more energy. Ooh. That's good. You may choose one card from your hands and place it in your drop area. Choose up to two from your drop area and play it. Okay, this card is good. Four off in the Meta Cooler uh, deck. Definitely. Swift Retaliation Cooler. So three energy, 15k, Freezer Clan. Counterattack if your leader is yellow, negate the attack and play this card for three. That's a lot. If you play this card, draw one card. If you have six or more cards in, dress, in rest mode, uh, draw one. Uh, you know why? Uh, so it helps you to draw cards and if you have six or more cards in rest mode you get to draw one card Oof. Uh, I don't know okay what is the purpose of creating this card definitely to bring out the big uh, set to mid uh, cooler out that guy it's a monster However, why three energy though? Why three energy? But this three energy, because it's a counter counter. Okay, so it's a counter counter. It's a bad green laser that you do not have to discard a uh, card. But it's three yellow energy. Yep. So, so it's very specific. So when you swing for something, uh, when you swing for something. So. If it's a counter counter, it has to be played in your turn because you're swinging it, your opponent plays a counter, you counter the counter, then you come in, if your opponent plays Cold Blood last, you could play it and then uh, put him on the board. But it's three energy though. That's really high investment, especially during your turn. And uh, you get to draw one card and uh, because you play for three energy, so three energy so you have three cards that is already in a uh, rest mode and then with your leader maybe if you're super leader that's four cards uh, i'm not too sure about this one guys uh, maybe something i'm not seeing it comment it in the comment section uh malevolent 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 yeah revenge so for one energy Take a look at the artwork. Oh my 
god. So if your leader is a meta cooler card, yes, it gets 15k for the duration of battle. You may choose one big game. Now switch it to active mode. If you do so, choose what. <laughs> okay. The the reason is uh, this is just for uh, to to pump up more infinite cooler over there. So with this guy, you could pump up in. And it just helps to swap the board really, really quickly with with this. So you swing a lot with 15, uh, 15k, um, 15k guys on the board. Yep, pretty good card. I like it. Is it 50? Meta cooler? Are they 15k or 10k? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Yep, because we just needs to find out. Oh, there's still black. So yellow. How would I rate it? Uh, nothing really stands out. Meta Cooler got a, a big boost. That's great. This card is good. And uh, when it comes to this, I would definitely play. I would try to see if there's slot in my Golden Freezer deck to play this. Um, I could maybe take out the one drop that that the green, the green, the green, the green guy. Because this this guy is a Freezer Army though. Yeah. So this guy's. Oh, this is so good. Why didn't I see this? So first turn, Chilai. You know the 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 the, the one drop Chila. If they don't take care of that, tap two for Chila. Bring him out. Then uh, he's a five k. Then you put it into the drop area. You get to draw one card from your hands, and then you get to play another card from. You get to untap one, draw one, so it's a plus two, and then you get to uh, put another freezer card from your hands. And if it's a venture freezer, look at top three, draw a card and put it into your hands. Pretty good. I like it. I I love the artwork. And when it comes to these two cards, it's so good. I love them. Uh, I think they really helped out with uh, the the Bardox and also with the Sun, uh, with the Kid Goku, the the Great Ape at set three. So, uh, but I I don't see why you can't play this in uh, in normal yellow decks also because yellow decks actually have a lot of uh, switch it to rest mode, switch it to rest mode, switch it to rest mode. So your opponent would find it a very high target to priority target to take it out. Yep. So for yellow, it's a good grade. I love it. Uh, yeah. I just don't really understand this card, but other than that, it's good. I love it. Black. Black has a new leader. Toa. Everybody is uh, kind of excited for it. All right. So once per turn, burst three. Look up to top five of your deck. Choose up to one Mira or Fu. Yes, because Mira and uh, it's it's her child among them add it to hand then shuffle your deck when you have 10 or more black cards in your warp you may draw one card and choose up to one of your so burst three it is uh like a so place top three into your drop area so so you could overwhelm him her uh use her to overwhelm so if you choose 10 or more when you have you may draw one card choose up to one of energy switch it to active mode and then uh flip this card over on the back um, once per turn, you get to th choose three black cards in a warp and place them in your drop area. Then you get to choose one mirror card in a battle area and it gains a critical for the duration of the turn. Um, it's pretty good. Um, I would see that a lot of more like a uh, mirror cards will get played. So those that already have critical, I don't see the reason why you want to play like mirror again. However, there are really strong cards that are mirror that people are not paying attention to it, like the Power Aura Mira from the Mars and starter deck. So it says that if you have three or more battle cards, uh, three or more cards in the warp against 5k, it's a, it's an over realm three, yeah? It's an over realm, over realm three for a 15k at a point of time, it was okay. But if you have five or more, uh, three or more cards in the warp area against five, if you have five or more, it gets an additional five. This is easy with this lady. Yep. So with the power order uh, mirror, you it's a 25k on the board with an over realm of three. And that card is replayable because that card is such an excellent combination with uh what is that card? Again? Uh, the one the the, the the dark wish? Was it a dark wish? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make a fool out of myself. What is that card? card name let, let me check uh, a quick one I'm, I'm sorry guys i'm sorry guys yeah i'm sorry guys duck duck plot duck plot with duck plot you get to bring the mirror for four energy however you untap three because that mirror it's over realm 
he puts it on the board. He is a 25k for one energy because he can untap three. 25k for one energy. Duck plot it again and see how your opponent deals with it. Every single turn, your opponent takes him out. You duck plot him back. Use this ability, then um, then uh, give him critical and swing. 25k critical. Just swing. 25k critical every time. One energy. Why not? <laughs> and of course, you have a lot of mirror that. Because she is a Toa, that means she can bring out the big mirror that swings for infinite amount, how many cards that you have. And he gains double strike because if you use the Union Fusion, Union Azop, then give him critical. Why not? 25k, uh, not 25k, infinite k double strike. Uh, your opponent discard 3 and then it is critical. Yep. Activate battle once per turn. Choose up to one card from your hand and place it into in the drop area. Choose one of up to one uh, keyword skill from your opponent's battle card. Negate it for the duration of the turn. Um, it is it is an extremely powerful ability because triple strike, it's gone, right? Barrier, gone. Uh, because you. For barrier card, you didn't choose the battle card, you choose the keyword. That was the ruling, okay? So, and uh, for example, critical, gone. However, uh, dual attack, gone. Triple attack, gone. Yeah. However, this leader does not draw when she attacks. That is the downside to it. However, just for the artwork alone and for the character alone, I'll try my best to make it work. Yep. And uh, she's not a demon god. That means she is not able to use those cards that are very specific to Demigra. So I'm not too sure about that. But um, I think we got a pretty decent Toa. Not the best, but decent. Decent, I think she's playable. Yeah, not unplayable. She's definitely playable. All right, so let's take a look at what we have for Black. Bardox Awaken Instinct, 4 energy cause he is a Bardox Xeno. Over round 4, when you play this card, draw 2 cards and choose 1 card from your hands and place it in the drop area. Good card, 4 cause. I think it's for the... Is there energy? No, there is no energy cause restriction when it comes to the XR. Uh, that is also from set 3. That is uh, That ignores barrier. He sends everything from the warp and because it's over round 4, so that's good. So over round 4, Zoom, everything goes to the warp. Bye bye, ciao. Uh, and it ignores barrier because it never says choose. It says, uh, or uh, send all of your opponent's battle card to warp. Yep. Supreme Kai of Time, Time Destructor. So, Disruptor. So, for one energy, counterplay. Play this card and uh, opponent with energy cost two. Oh, <laughs> extremely good card so counterplay so for one you negate it and then your opponent cannot attack with uh, two or less so it is a it is almost like uh, the, the 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 blue goku however it can play with almost because it has no restriction when it comes to uh, the leader and stuff like that you get to draw a card when you play this card you get to draw a card so tap negate draw one if you have anything two or less you can't attack sorry unless you take this card out this card does not have barrier but for just one energy draw one card negate the attack and this definitely a very good card yep <gasps> divigra 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 god god oh i love divigra if you know me i love the divigra deck i think divigra deck it's one of the most fun ones out there yeah so um, oh i i did not see this coming okay so divigra over realm unleashed because i think divigra personally i think divigra deck it's pretty good could be better but pretty good right now so over realm three uh for two oh so 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 okay it, it needs to do something bad we play this card using over realm choose Choose one. This card gains one 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 hole for the duration of the turn. <laughs> wow. All right. So this card gains one hole for the duration of the turn. I'm not too sure. What, what does this mean? 
wormhole. I I know what wormholes means, right? Wormhole means that you can play the second over over realm. So for two energy, you get a 15k on board, and uh, you could play another 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 card that uses over realm or dark over realm. I don't know. And it's over realm though. It's not dark over realm. That means after this turn, he's gone. But okay, because it's for the duration of the turn, you don't really need it on the board. Uh, however, the second ability, choose up to one Demigra with an energy cost 4 or less. In your warp, and then play on top of this. There are two targets here. The power boosters. Take note, when you play the card with power boosters, uh, you are already removed. Power boosters can be played for zero energy, but with just four over realm cards. Yep, it stays there. So you are already using two energy to play for something that gets over realm for free, like over realm for free as in energy wise. So I'm not too sure, but there is another one that you can do it. It's the four course dark over realm that uh, and play on top. So for two for over realm three for two energy, you get to bring that four. Uh, four, four, four overall that four cost cards out. That's pretty good. I like it. That card is very devastating because your opponent always put it as high priority to take him out. He's twenty k and he swings every single time that guy swings. Your opponent has to discard one card from his hands and send it to warp. So he is a twenty k. However, because of the uh, because if your opponent discard a battle card, he would have to combo with it. So it's a minimum a twenty five k unless your opponent discard a uh, his super combo, which is rather stupid to do so, or uh, uh, an extra card. Yep, I'm getting tired. But let's go, let's go, let's go. Mira self uh, reformation. Mira, uh, so for five course. Wow, really? Okay, Union Zone. Oh, okay, okay. Oof. Choose one Toa from your warp and place it under this card if your leader is Toa or Android. Choose up to one Mira from your deck with an energy cost of seven. Play it in active mode and then shuffle with deck. Deflect. If you have ten or more black cards, reduce the energy. Ooh, so this is a full course that has a double strike. And play in active mode. So he is much better than the other one because the other one it's uh you it's a need four cards for over realm and then you tap four. Then he, he, he comes out and then uh he comes out in active mode. I need to check the other cards. Yep. However, I'm for this one it has deflect, so he cannot stop the big one from coming. However, he can uh, like a overwhelm, like a, he can co blood last the other one. Um, you could swing with this, here's a 20k, so you could swing with double strike 20k, and then if you have 10 or more black cards, so he is a four course, so choose up to one Towa, place it, so you swing, double strike 20k, then put one Towa from your warp and under this card. And then if your leader is a Toa, choose up to one Mira in your deck with an energy, play in an active mode. Uh, take note. I think the other one says that if it's in your deck, uh, it oh the other one says it has to kind of be in your hands if I am uh, correct. So uh, maybe I want to like, uh, ch check this. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll check it later. But ah uh, maybe I'll check it later. But but I I think that's 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 it. All right, Marseille and Bigald uh, Warrior. So for four energy, 15k over realm four for one energy. Okay, when you play this card with over realm, choose one of your battle cards in your hands with mask in its name and an energy five or less, and play it. Who's this target? So when you play this card with over realm, choose up to one battle card in your hands with mask in its name, energy five or less. Other than Marseille and Bigard Warrior and play it. So, is the other one? I'm I'm trying to understand this card though. Um, I'm definitely missing something here. Why do I say that? Because a lot of cards that has mask in their name needs it to be when you play this card with Overrealm. 
unless they're talking about the Black Marseillean. But the Black Marseillean is three energy. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I can't comment about this. I would definitely. This is more of a first look and, and as much analysis I can provide with my knowledge of the game. But uh, I, uh, I, I would definitely look up what what this this card does, right? So if it, it it is required, I would definitely do a more in depth analysis. But I guess the rest of the cards, um, the the anal analysis are quite uh, quite sufficient in, in my opinion. But I'm sorry, I just don't really know uh, all the cards. So full the Dark Banisher. So for 8 cores, triple attack, overrealm. Ooh, so 4. Wow, this is a very high cost card. Your opponent can't activate skill unless they choose one card from their hands and send it to the wall. Okay, if you, if you think that, okay, uh, so this is definitely a game ender. Uh, when you have something, you so when you swing white, white yep and uh, you want to play this so for eight for four energy i'm not too sure about whether is this it's definitely restricting your opponents because your opponent can't negate your opponent can't cold blood last your opponent cannot uh, do things they can cold blood last this guy though <laughs> but uh, they cannot do things like super combos because super combos it's also a skill so they cannot do things like that so unless they send one card from their hands and send it to mob uh and triple attack so triple attack 25k over realm but he does not have double strike though so unless your opponent is down to one not too sure about that uh it's four and eight is not that difficult to achieve if you are a like a black leader but let's see uh i i personally like the six cost full because of the zamafu deck right uh but that ability is they cannot activate skill. There is no uh, get around it. They just cannot activate it until the end of their next turn. <laughs> so that's really a lot. All right. So when we, we come to the last card, oh, I'm kind of glad. I'm kind of tired. So a crack in time space for one energy. If your leader is a black Saiyan card, and the, so the Mars Saiyan and also the Vegeta card. Yep. It gets 15k double strike for the duration of the battle. So it is to give Marseillean even more uh, power because Marseillean gets 5k critical if the if the things are right. So if you do a 50-50, then it's you you're definitely gonna get there's a high chance you're gonna get the 5k and the and the critical, and then it gets a, even a 15k, so it becomes a 35k double strike critical. So it is to give Marseillean even more punch. Yeah. All right, all right. So this is the end of the uh, video. I hope uh, for those people that are listening, thank you so much for staying. Um, overall, great. I think this is so good. You know, they're giving uh, they're giving things like Vados. They're giving things like Hit, Majin Buu, like a uh, Babadi, and a General Guado, and of course Ultra Instinct Zamasu, Goku Black, Meta Kula. Uh, the, the support that they need. Uh, probably it's a little bit strange. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, but I, I'm part of the very, very uh, active and one of my favorite group, the, the Broly uh, group. I'm, I'm part of their uh, Facebook group. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're gonna discuss and maybe they're gonna point out something that I'm missing here. All right, so I am a human. So this is gonna be a first look or, and I, I just, I think I do provide quite a bit of what I know on this. So overall great, I think get the anniversary box. It is gonna be good. This is just the cards they're coming, right? They're gonna be reprints, they're gonna be very valuable. For example, like the hit, like the clan of Terra Mecha Freezer, the Nimbus looks so good, and not to mention the thing that everybody is kinda icing for. Objection. No, I'm kidding. The Sensu Bean, right? And also the Toa leader. It's so so the designs are so great all right so thank you for staying and uh bandai you're definitely not listening to this but if you are thank you this is the product that kind of we need so thank you so much and uh see you guys in the next video all right ciao bye